All right, I'm going to now show you how to construct a four-bar linkage using GeoGebra. I'm going to do it in a way that I think will give you the basic principles that you need to draw even much more complicated linkages. So first things first, let's um, open GeoGebra. I'm using GeoGebra 5. Uh, let's identify the points that are going to form our linkage. One, two, three, four. So the four bar, and now the coupler. So we can put this, we can make a polygon that, does not, that defines the quadrilateral of the four bar linkage. And then here is the coupler. Now you see when I create these points, it labels them. First off, let me change the color a little bit. Now, it's got all these letters that represent uh, the segments and uh, the points, the vertices. As we start to work, they begin to clutter things up. So I'm going to select the labeling option, which is no new uh, objects. All right, now we'll choose our point where we're gonna, that we're going to use to construct the linkage. I'm going to put a line through it parallel to the x-axis, change the color to gray. Just not, takes over uh, if it's too dark. Um, now I'm going to measure an angle. I'm going to create an angle, and so we'll do that with a slider. Specify the angle, and it gives it the letter alpha, uh, Greek letter alpha. And now I'm going to create that angle here about our, oops, all of these, I guess I selected the wrong option because I'm getting all of these letters. Let me go back up options, labeling, no new objects. I must have selected all new objects. All right, so let's draw our line here. And what we can do now is by changing alpha, we change that angle. Let me start hiding this stuff. It gets to be too confusing. Uh, I'm even gonna hide this, hide that, and hide that. All right, so we can now, let's now measure this distance. This is the base distance of our linkage. We use the compass, select that distance from here to here, and we'll put it right on this point, and we'll make the circle yellow. And now what we want is the intersection here. Intersection, and this is the point we want. We'll make that a segment. Give it a nice brown color. Brown, brown, thick. All right. Now there's a second intersection, so we're going to hide that. And we'll, in fact, hide the circle and we'll hide the line. And now when I rotate this point, there's the base of the four bar linkage moving. Now I'm going to introduce this. this I'm going to have this. This is going to be my crank. So this crank is going to want to rotate. Or we're going to want it to rotate. So let me introduce another angle. Specify an angle. OK, so it's here. Uh, we're going to choose the angle command. Specify gamma. And there it is. We'll draw the line. All right, and now on that line, we're going to measure the length of the input crank. We use the compass command, measure that distance, go from there, intersect, and now we have the input crank. So we put a segment from our base pivot there. We'll make it with the color green. And now you see when we change the input angle, Crank will rotate. A lot of this stuff we can hide. 
So let's get rid of the line. Let's get rid of the circle. Let's get rid of this, this point. And let's get rid of that point. All right. Now we're now we're ready to draw the rest of the forebar. We get to just measure these two lengths using the compass. So I'm going to measure this distance from here to here. One distance, measure this distance from here to here. That gives us the second distance. They intersect in two points, which is probably one of the fundamental challenges about linear groups. Um, we only want one intersection, but it turns out the linkage can be assembled in two different ways. And there's nothing about our mathematics that can distinguish the two. All right, there we go. All right. Let's hide the circles. And let's, oops, let's hide the extra point. There's it. That's it. All right. Now we're in a position where we can actually animate this. So if I, well, it's not if I bury it, I'm going to make that. I don't need to see that angle. That's the delta. All right. So, but we can actually animate it. So let's go over here to objects. We're going to turn the animation on. Let's see. Oops, there it is. There it's animating behind us. Then you see it, it goes from 0 to 360, stops and reverses, goes the other, in the other direction. We can change that by selecting slider and then changing oscillating to increasing. Now it'll just keep on going up. There's a little controller down at the bottom. Now let's add our coupler. <coughs> let's measure this angle. <coughs> That's now uh, epsilon. So we're going to now draw that angle. We'll draw it here. <coughs> Epsilon. Okay. Uh, we can't see it, so let's move it an inch. There it is. We'll connect it with a line. Now, the distance along that line to get to E, we just measure, we'll do it the way we did before with the compass. Measure from here to here. And place it there. We'll take the intersection between these two. The line and the circle, we of course get the other point too. Uh, we can hide all of that. Select it, or hide it. We'll hide the circle, we'll hide the other point, and we'll hide the line. And now we can draw in our polygon, which forms the coupler. This point is port important. Let's give it its own color. We don't need to see that angle, so we'll hide that angle. All right, now we can animate it. And we can see it move. Let's, uh, I'm going to now show you an important trick. We're going to use this locus command. Select the point and the angle and it will draw the entire locus. All right, so here we go. There is our four bar linkage. Oops, let me hide this other point. Let's see. I'm just going to bring it a little bit. Around so it looks like a walker. We can animate it. And uh, let's now change the dimensions a little bit. Make this smaller. And then I'll rotate this. 
can make this farther away. Oops, flatten it out a little bit. And there's our four-bar mechanism that looks like a leg. This, the same set of uh, commands can uh, allow you to design much more complicated images, but these are the, the basic ones that I uh, wanted you to see. I'll just create a point over here. Let's get rid of that. Um, I think this is a good start, uh, and I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much.